Everybody, who's coming soon? Welcome to the first chapel service of our new month in February. Today is Wednesday, February 2nd. Uh, we invite all of you who are watching and streaming uh, to please put away all of your technology devices uh, and all the things that distract you uh, for the next 20 ish minutes or so uh, as we present to you the good news of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Thank you for joining us today. Our call to worship this morning is from the book of Psalm, chapter 106, verse 2 and 3. Let us be called into worship together. Who can proclaim the acts of the Lord or fully declare his praise? Blessed are those who act justly, who always do what is right. Please join me as we pray Kapule Akahaku together. Epule Kako. E koma ko makua iloko kulani, e ho ano ia ko inoa, e hiki mai ko alpuni, e ma lama ia ko make make makahonua ne, e like ye e like me ia i ma lama ia makalani la, e ha avi mai ya ma ko ike ia la, i aina ma ko no ne ia la, e kalamai ho i ya ma ko i ka ma ko lavehala ana, me ma ko e kalanei kapoe i lavehala i ka ma ko. Mai ho'opu o e yama ko i ka ho'o vale vale ia mai. E ho'opakele no na e yama ko i ka ino. No ka mea, no ke aupuni, a me ka mana, a me ka ho'o nani ia a mau loa aku. Amene.
Our scripture today comes from Matthew 6, verse 33. Aka e ma mua i puni o kea kua a me kanapono. Ae pau ua mau mea la i kaha avi ia mai ya o ko. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be provided to you. Mahalo Mackenzie and the worship team uh, for helping to lead us this morning in our time of service. Um, aloha mai kako to all of you, uh, to the, those of you sitting here in the chapel and those of you watching online. Uh, we greet you good morning from Bishop Memorial Chapel. This morning, I woke up, I rose up, uh, I smiled at the rising sun. Three little birds came, and they sat by my doorstep at Haleakahu, and they were just singing a sweet song, a melody pure and true, and they said, Kahu, Kahu, this is our message for you. Don't worry about a thing, because every little thing will be all right. Yes, yes, I just read you a song by Bob Marley. But this week, I've been thinking a lot about birds. Um, and I don't know, maybe none of you have ever put some forethought into the idea of birds. But what I've been thinking about, mainly about birds, is I've never seen, I don't know if this happens for some of you, but I've never actually seen a bird that died of natural causes. Right? I've seen dead birds, but usually it's because a car ran them over, or somebody chopped off the chicken's head and the chicken's running around crazy. But I've never actually seen a bird that passed away of natural causes. It's just old and just said, I'm done. And the more I thought about it, the more I thought about birds. There's a saying, for those of you that are aware, um, my name is Manu. And my mom would always tell me that Manu kind of fits me. Because uh, there, there's that saying, right, that you can be as free as a bird. And she always said that you're just kind of that free spirit that, you know, Whatever, whatever, whatever. But as I thought more about birds, I realized that birds are freeloaders, right? All of you know what freeloaders are. Uh, some of you may be looking around in your classroom or here in the pews and saying to your friend, you're the freeloader in our friendship, right? But the freeloader is a person that never does any work, but always gets the credit. In your group project, it's the person that kind of goes along for the ride with all the smart kids and gets an A, because everybody else did the work. Uh, the freeloader is the person that asks you for a ride home, but never offers to pay for gas or snacks as you stop at the snack store. But this is what birds are. Birds are freeloaders. What do they do? They fly around. They sing some songs. You know, they don't do much. But yet somehow birds survive. Right? Somehow they, they live. They're still all over the place. We still see them all the time. Right? But some way, somehow, they just keep singing. They just keep singing and singing and singing some more and flying around. And every so often, there's a worm or something that can feed them. Right? But they don't do any work. Today, Mackenzie read from the book of Matthew, Matthew chapter 6. Um, and in this book, Jesus kind of makes the same observation about birds. Uh, he doesn't call them freeloaders. But he makes the same observation about how birds are cared for and they're taken care of, but they don't really do much work. But when Jesus starts talking about um, the birds, he actually leads into it by saying the following statement. Do not be worried about your life. It's kind of a strange statement to make in our present day and age, right? Do not be worried about your life. I know today there's a varsity girls soccer game against Iolani. And maybe some of you on the soccer team are thinking about the game and thinking about how can I perform well so my coach doesn't yell at me and it's stressing you out a little bit. 
And now you're looking at Kahu and you're saying, Kahu, you're telling me do not worry about my life. I don't know how to not worry about this game today. Some of you at the beginning of the day may have thought, oh, I'll use homeroom to do my homework for period six. And now all you hear is Kahu going on and on and on. You're like, Kahu, can you stop, please? I have to do my homework. And you're starting to get worried. And anxiety is filling your heart. Kahu, how can you tell me, do not be worried about my life? All right, and some of you, the worry and the concern runs much deeper. Some of you are worried about what happens when you have to go home. Mom and dad are so busy trying to make ends meet in the middle of this crazy pandemic. And they've given you a lot of responsibility in the house. How am I not supposed to worry about my brothers and sisters that have been left in my charge? Some of you think about going home and think about the room that is yours in your house that's supposed to be this place of respite. But when you go in the room, all you hear is arguing and fighting and all kinds of craziness going on around your room. And your room is not a place of respite. How can I not be worried about this life? All right, but that's what Jesus says. Jesus says, My mana'onui. Right? Do not big thought your brain about life. So how do you get over your worry and your anxiety and your concern? All right, because if you get rid of something, something has to fill it. That's one of the things with Worry and anxiety is part of the reason we can't get rid of it is because when we try to think like we shouldn't be worried, we shouldn't be worried, we shouldn't be worried, we don't have anything good to replace that worry and that anxiety and that concern. Fortunately enough for us, Jesus gave us something to fill our worries and anxieties when we let them go. Matthew six thirty three, But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness and all these things will be added to you. So as you go about the business of maimona onui, of not putting big thoughts in your brain and in your mind, what do you fill it with? Well, you fill it with the ability to seek after God's goodness and God's righteousness. This week, uh, the value that we want to highlight here at Bishop Memorial Chapel is the value of ikepono, to know and do what is right. Right, so how do I forget about my everyday worries and my everyday concerns? Well, ra rather than worry about those things, we worry about doing what is right and good in the eyes of God. And it's not always easy to do that. Right? We know what is right and good in the eyes of God is to love our neighbor. But sometimes we don't want to love our friends. Right? But you want to get rid of your worry and your anxiety and your concern that's weighing you down. Continue to ikepono. Continue to seek after God's goodness and God's righteousness. Every morning, we've been making it a habit here at Bishop Memorial Chapel uh, to pray together. Uh, the three of us on our, currently on our staff. Uh, we pray every morning. One of the things that I would love to do is I would love to start praying for all of you. Uh, and praying specific prayers for each of you, um, students, staff. Uh, and so we invite you to take advantage of our wonderful email system and to send in your emails and your concerns to stop by our chapel office and to let us know what is it, what is the big thought that you cannot get rid of in your brain and allow us an opportunity to pray over these things. Um, I promise you, that some of you may not want to do it because you think, oh, they'll know my name and I don't want to send it because then they'll start telling everybody else that every prayer request you send into Bishop Memorial Chapel will only be shared with Bishop Memorial Chapel staff. Right? But we want you to know that you are not in this alone. Many times we think of our worry and anxiety and we think nobody knows what we're going through. Nobody else knows what it's like. Right? And we don't always know what it's like but we can come alongside of you and we can pray with you and we can ask God to help give you strength as you continue to seek first his kingdom and his righteousness and trust that all these things will be added unto you.
Today, as we close out our chapel service and as we start to draw it to a close, we're going to invite our worship team back up here. And they're going to sing again this beautiful song called Build My Life. And as you think about the words of the song and how to build my life, uh, I want you guys to get in the habit, start getting in the habit of praying as we sing uh, and praying that God will take your worries, will take your mana'onui, your big thoughts, uh, and he will take them away and he will fill your heart and your soul with the ability to ikepono, to seek after what is right and what is good and what is just. Uh, Please join us as we sing our song, Build My Life Again. Let us receive our benediction this morning. Na Yehova oi e ho mai ka i mai a e maalama mai. Na Yehova e kau mai i ka maalama lama o kona maka maluna i ho. A e loko mai ka i mai a oi. Na Yehova e maliu mai a oi. A e haave mai i maaluna. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance on you and give you peace. E pule kako. Gracious God, we thank you for this opportunity to slow down and to give you our worries and concerns. Lord, we rest in assurance knowing that you hear our prayers this morning. Be with us, be with us throughout the remainder of our day. Wherever we go, whatever we do, may we continue to shine your good light in the world today. Lord, we say mahalo to you. Thank you for all that you do. Amen. Mahalo for joining us today. Have a good day, everybody. Be good. Do good. Live righteously.